That's not right. <laughs> Talia Lewis. Oh, le. There we go. Hey guys, it's Tally here. Welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to say a quick Happy New Year to everyone. I still can't believe it's 2020. Like, that feels so weird to say. I hope this year brings you lots and lots of happiness. And let's all hope that this year is a l just a little bit better for me. I just hit 5k on Instagram, literally just now. So thank you so, so much for that. My TikTok just hit 30k as well. So make sure you go and follow both my Instagram and TikTok. I will leave them on the screen somewhere. It would really mean a lot to me and it will make you part of the family. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing an assumptions about me video and one of my followers, Sadie, kindly requested this video. So I'll leave her name on the screen somewhere. Thank you, Sadie, for this. When she first told me about this, I was kind of scared to do it because I know I was going to get a lot of bad assumptions, which I did, but I've got a lot of hate recently and I'm just learning how to block it out. Really not worth getting upset over because at the end of the day it is just people behind a screen who know nothing about me. And I also got loads of lovely assumptions as well. I'm going to be reading them out in this video and hopefully clearing things up and asking a few questions. This is just going to be like a nice chill chit chat video. I am currently still in my pyjamas and I'm not planning on getting changed. Okay, obviously there have been quite a few assumptions so I can't read them all out but I'm going to read out as much as I can without making this video half an hour long. So the first one is from Mariam T underscore underscore X. Hi Mariam. And she said you've changed a lot since you were young. Yeah, definitely. I think everyone's changed a lot since they were young because obviously when we were young we had different beliefs and different like views on things. But to be fair, I look the same as when I was about six. I have the same personality. To be honest, I don't think I've changed that much. Obviously, in a, a general way, I've changed. Like, everyone changes when they get older and when, obviously, I'm 18 this year and everyone changes when they get to that age. But as, as far as, like, me and my personality and how I act, I don't think I've changed that much. Sadie.bbbb said, how tall you are. This isn't really an assumption, but I am five foot four. Five, I think. Sadie and Olivia Prizman said you have a boyfriend and then Olivia also said BTW I love you. I love you too and no I do not have a boyfriend. Trust me if I had a boyfriend you guys would know about it. I would post him and I wouldn't, I'd never keep it to myself that I have a boyfriend unless that's what they wanted. But no I do not have a boyfriend sadly. Actually it's not even sadly I don't want a boyfriend. I thought for a long time I wanted a boyfriend and I needed a boyfriend but I think I need to focus on myself and my own happiness before I worry about having a boyfriend and having to keep them happy and all of that. It's just, uh, -uh. I don't think I need a boyfriend right now in this particular time. Maybe at the end of this year, like, I'll be 18, but I'm not looking. If it happens, it happens. Millie.h underscore said, I assume that you have this perfect life because everything you post just seems perfect. This is the one that I really, really wanted to address. Been about five helicopters gone past. Oh my god, World War Three. My life is far from perfect. I am the unhappiest now that I have ever been in my life. And I don't like to bring these things to YouTube because it makes it real and I almost don't want it to be real, but it is, and I'm gonna have to keep it real with you guys. Like you've always known everything about me and my life, and I'm gonna keep it that way. My life is far from perfect. I post what three pictures a week of me posing that doesn't mean my life is perfect and my family is perfect my mum dad and my brother I'm so grateful for and yes I'm very lucky to have the family I have but my actual life in general is far from perfect and I would hate anyone to think that and I would hate anyone to think that about anyone remember you see this video is probably going to be what 15 minutes long and I post one video a week, that's all you see of my life. You don't see the ins and outs, unless you're so close to me, you don't know. Only real people that know everything are Millie and Lissy. I'm not gonna post on Instagram like, oh my God, this happened today, or I'm sad for this reason today, because I've come to realize people just don't care. They don't care. They say they care, but they don't. They literally couldn't give a shit. And also it's just depressing. Like I'm not gonna post about how bad or unhappy my life is because people don't want to see that, they want, they watch me because they want to see me being happy and they want to see me being smiley and it's not me being fake, it's just showing you the good parts of my life and I do share the bad parts of my life with you but I know that people go through so much worse 
Like, there are kids dying. There are families being torn apart from each other. World War Three is about to start outside my fucking window, apparently. And there's bigger things to be worrying about than the reason I'm sad this week or the reason I didn't sleep last night. Jessica.xrose said, you have a lot of friends. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, Jessica, you're very wrong. Um, I have friends and I have my closest friends that I love and adore, like Millie and Lissy, but that is pretty much it. I did have a lot of friends, things have happened, I'm not going to go into it because obviously it's a personal matter, but I did fall out with friends, um, so yeah, I don't really have many friends, which is sad, so no, I don't have a friendship group, um, I haven't been out on the weekend in like 10 weeks, it's sad, but I'm a believer that God's got a plan for me, and it will work itself out, I don't really know. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all the friends that have stuck by me the past couple months. As you know, it has not been easy, but I love you all, um, and thank you. Next one is, you're a scat. True. No, I'm joking. I'm not a scat. J. Co. Dog Private said, you are very smart and enjoy reading books. Um, I'm smart, and well, I'm not smart smart. I'm, I'm average, like if you saw my GCSE video, you, you'll see that I did okay. But I don't read books. I hate reading. I can't remember the last book I read. It was probably in like year four. Tambeer underscore said, you're going out with Mitchell. No, I'm not. We are just friends. Lauren dot ev x and said, you love me more than you love YouTube. Yes, I do. Marvin underscore underscore Ray, R-A-I said, you get so many boys. Um, Lots of people assume this. This is I've had this quite a lot. I don't. To be honest, the boys I get are 50 year old men in my DMs. <laughs> I do not get boys my own age. Oh my god, I actually don't. That's really sad. Right, okay, moving on. Summer.x14 said, you love dyeing your hair. <laughs> um, that is, tr well, not anymore. I did. Last year I dyed my hair s six times. I went brown, then I ombre it, then I ombre it again, then I went pink, then I went blonde, blonde, and then I went back to brown, and now, I don't even know what colour it is now, it's just ginger. My hair is so damaged now, so I'm just going to give it a rest until summer, and then I'll probably dye blonde again. Patrick.Fleming1 said, you're a virgin. Yeah, of course I am, I'm a child of God. Alyssa... Lloyd underscore said you strive to be the best you can be but not only for yourself for other people that's really sweet I guess I do strive to be the best I can be and I do it all for my parents and I'm not just saying this but I'm always nice to everyone like I, I I'm not a horrible person and I will stand by that yeah I can say mean things in the heat of a moment and I can get angry with people but I'm not a horrible person I'm I try to make my parents proud like I do YouTube I have a job, I try to do as well as I can in school, all for my parents, and my brother obviously, because they've just given me everything I have in life, and when I'm old enough, I just want to be able to give them what they've given me. I do try to be the best I can, but it is mainly for my parents. Thusane818 said that you have a boyfriend called All About Vance. <laughs> Vance is my best mate, alright? Actually no, he's not, he's my husband. Someone said, I feel like you look like a bad bitch, but you're really quite nice. I do have that impression on people. I have the worst resting bitch face you will ever see. Like, my mum has said it so many times. She says, like, sometimes we'll just be standing there and I'll literally be like... Sometimes it does look like I want to kill people, but I don't. I promise. Like, if you ever see me... I've had so many messages, like, I saw you the other day, I want to come up to you. Like, if you see me, come and say hi. I'm not going to kill you. Freya M 2007 said, you miss year 11 and you want to go back to it. Love you. Love you too, Freya. It's hard. Year 11 was a weird year. Okay, yeah, I would like to go back to year 11. Year 11 was the last time I was happy. I had a good friendship group. I had a boyfriend. Things were just good. And... Even though I had GCSEs, they weren't that bad. Like, m I, I didn't even mind them. I don't mind doing exams. Okay, I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Like, it's better than being in lessons, let's be honest. And then you finish in June, and then you're done for the summer. Like, it wasn't that deep. Mariam underscore underscore T again said, you're going sitsy. I hope I am. 
in this particular moment right now, I really don't think that's going to happen, but hopefully by summer I want to go. Haroon G1 said that you've had sex with all about Bants. Bants, apparently we've had sex. I don't remember this happening, but if it happened, let me know. Sophia said, how did you decide to start your YouTube channel? I was 12 and in Tesco's with my dad and I saw some American sweets and I was like, hey, why not go home and film a video about this? Someone said you look like an angel. Thank you, I really don't, but thank you. Mitchell Fellingham said you stink. I know. Sophia also said, I think that you're a really nice, caring and thoughtful person. Thank you, Sophia. I'd like to think I am too. Wango dot underscore said, you're the most popular out of your friends. Like I said, I don't have a friendship group, so. I'm the least popular person in my school right now. That is a fact. You play an instrument. Yes, I play piano, guitar, and ukulele. You go to the gym. Yes, I do. Mariam also said, you've dyed your hair many times. Yes, I have, Mariam. Thanks for pointing it out. Grom Sursky, that's just wrong, said, you grew up in a rich area. No, I did not. The areas around me are rich, but not my area. I assume you miss breakfast. I don't miss breakfast. I have lucky charms every morning and every night. Summer.x14 said, you want to continue dancing? I do, yes. It's hard to find the time at the moment because I obviously do musical theatre, I sing, I have YouTube, I have a job. There's a lot of things at the moment. I do dance on Wednesdays um, and I do plan on carrying on doing that because I absolutely love dance. She also said, you're happy with your figure at the moment. Um, I'm happier than I was this time last year. And I'd say I am happiest now with my body than I ever have been. There's still stuff I want to improve. I feel like there's always going to be something you want to improve about your body. Like no one sits there and says their body is perfect because I know myself that it's far from perfect. And I'm fine with that. Like I'm, I'm going to work on it, but I'm also not going to beat myself up about it because there's no need. Lulu said, I assume you do this bloody video because it will be lit. I'm doing it, bitch. Caleb underscore Lessard said that you have tons of earrings. Uh, correct. I have five in this ear, four in this ear, and I'm getting another two soon, I think. And then I have my belly ring, and I also have my nipple pierced, and we're not going to go into that because I'm not getting that hate again. XX Sad Bob, that's sad. XX said, you work out loads to have the, to get the body you have. Um, no, as I said, I used to be an elite gymnast, so my body, like, it's, it's got this thing called muscle memory, so I only have to work out a little bit for my body to, like, get back to how it was. When I was younger, I was this thin and had, like, an eight-pack because of the amount of gymnastics I was doing, and luckily my body has stayed in that shape, um, but I eat crap, like, so badly. I've actually got a box of heroes. And I go to the gym, I'd say, twice a week. Not even that. Who am I trying to fool? Once or twice a week, and I don't do anything when I'm there, so. James Much 2016 said, I assume you've got at least one Gucci item. I do not. So if anyone wants to send me something Gucci, much appreciated because I have nothing Gucci. Felix Perry.14 said, you've never been heartbroken. <laughs> Oh, this time last year, I'd never been heartbroken, correct. Things have changed since then. I'm not going to get into it once again because it involves two people and it's a personal thing. But I am 17, 18 this year and I have had a boyfriend. So anyone who's had a boyfriend has experienced heartbreak. Like no matter how it goes, even if you're the one that breaks up with the boy or girl, you're still going to be upset about that. Like it's still something you've committed a long time time of your life to that person and to break up with them or to have be broken up with is going to be hard and it's going to involve some sort of heartbreak um so yes i have been heartbroken ntando.ngubane27 said you cut off people who try to approach you i normally welcome everyone um i know a lot of people get annoyed because i don't open my dms i have over 600 dms so it is quite hard to open all of them. I try to answer as many as I can, but I don't mean to cut anyone off 
who try to approach me at all. Like, I'm just nice, unless you give me a reason not to. And if you DM me asking for nudes, then obviously I'm just not going to speak to you. XO, nat, nat, I'm gonna say this wrong, Natas, Natasa, N-A-T-S-Z-A underscore XOX, said, you want more piercings, fave YouTube, I love you. Love you too, and thank you. Um, I am gonna get, I think, that pierce, like this bit, and then my cotch down here. Angelina.pj said, you have no school, you have no friends in school. Correct. No. Don't assume my life is perfect because it's not, but you know, I'm grateful for what I do have. Canon6516 said, you're very confident. Um, I used to be, not so much anymore. My self-confidence, this time last year, it was up here. I was feeling great about myself. Everything was swell. Now it is here and I don't know how that's happened. 2019 was the hardest year, full stop. I want married with you. Let's just leave it on that. That is all the assumptions I had. I'm sorry that got really deep, but some of them things really needed to be said. Like, there's people that need to remember what life is really about, and they need to remember that, yeah, shit happens and things are hard, but there's bigger things to be dealing with. But anyway, um, I hope you liked this video and I hope some questions got answered and some assumptions you thought of me have been cleared up. And yeah, thank you once again for watching this video. If you liked it, then give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!